Yeah, so uh, just to pick up from uh, Joy's uh, comment is that uh, as it is still at primary level, we, uh, we are not fully digitized. Uh, we know that the community health uh, level is uh, digitized through the electronic community health information system. Uh, there is digitization at the uh, most, uh, you know, uh, secondary level facilities, but at the primary level facilities where we intend on, uh, you, you, uh, you know, supporting uh, through the uh, primary health care fund, we don't have, you know, much of digitization. And as in as much as we could get. Uh, user-friendly apps that could, um, you know, you could just use a phone. We know also capacity, uh, there are different capacities at the different levels. We have close to 9,000 health facilities at that level. So that is one hug that we, we know that we have and that we are really cognizant of. And that's why as part of the priorities uh, within, uh, you know, the UHC priorities are around digitization and just boosting uh, the infrastructure. The other thing that also we saw uh, in the previous um, UHC, uh, you know, initiatives is, you know, the health seeking behaviors. Every time there is something new, everyone wants to try it out. And therefore we know that initially that uh, there'll be a high, you know, access to service. And it's not a, it's not a hurdle uh, as such, but we know that uh, during this time, probably uh, if there are any teething problems, it, it could seem like it's discouraging um, or, you know, excessive uh, services uh, would be sought. And probably at that, at that point in time, even the, the facilities may not be ready for that because it will take time for them to claim the resources for them now to improve their services. So we are, uh, that is the main um, hurdle I'm seeing uh, moving forward. Otherwise, uh, the other thing I would just talk about, uh, given that most of our, uh, our, our services, uh, I mean, will be digitized. Uh, therefore, we know that we will require less and less of human uh, of human resource, and therefore, just seeing how to balance all that with the, you know, the previous human resource that were there within, um, you know, uh, who are who will be transitioning into into the fund, uh, and given that this time we need uh, quite uh, quite uh, a few fewer, uh, you know, human resource, and with that, uh, we may just need to see how we can also, you know, handle that uh, that challenge. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Dr. Wange. Indeed, um, digitalization will be critical for these reforms moving forward.